welcome 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 back to my channel i'm mama eve and today is a good day today is a great day today is a fabulous day come on and say it with me but what's more important today is mm -hmm, let me hear your day how sweet that was all right so today I have some exciting, exciting, exciting news. Uh, when I had received uh, 3,000 subscribers, or a little bit over 3,000, I made a video and I started a contest. And the contest was that three, I would select three people that would suggest three different videos. And if you were selected, you would uh, definitely receive a gift from me and I would film or make that video. Well, today is video number one. So I want to announce the first winner. The first winner, to just to, to make it a little bit more super, uh, suspicious or or. To make it make it a little bit more exciting she commented on the video about business number two and I think that it was something that's so important that's why I I chose it myself this video if you are miss or mrs. Alicia white you are my first winner. Miss White or Ms. White uh, left it in the comments. Mama, I want to know more about having clients to come to my home. Because I have clients that I entertain in my home. So this video is for you, my winner. Now you have, I said at first uh, 24 hours, but I'm going to give you at least 36 hours to contact me with your information. All right. So just want to talk a little bit about having clients. Years ago, years and years ago, um, I was just, just recently, um, separated from my husband and I had my girls to raise by myself and uh, I I was working but I needed some more income and I'm sure some of you moms out here or, or single wives or divorcees y'all understand what I'm talking about so I had to come up with a way to make sure that everybody was okay so I opened up my home because like I told like I, I, I told you, I don't want to say I told you, but like I've said so many times, I've been doing this so many years. So as opportunities presented themselves, I had clients that wanted to come into my home. Sometimes it was, listen y'all, sometimes it was even churches church ministries that would want to come into my home well I did it number one because my children wasn't really old and I didn't I didn't leave them alone and uh, I at the time I was struggling with my money so I didn't have a place to have um, you know have them come meet me or anything like that so I would open up my home so let me tell you this is what I learned and let me just put it like this. If you are a person that have clients, and I'm, t I'm not talking about doing hair or anything like that, but maybe because I don't do it, so I, I try not to talk about things I don't know. I'm talking about I was seeing clients doing readings, healing services, and all this stuff in the home, right in my living room. And what I found all kind of craziness was happening to me. Because of the spirits and the energies that was coming into my home. Now, 
I don't really regret it because people was helped. People was healed. People got their breakthroughs. But it was hard work. Especially when one person would leave, another person would come, another person would come, and then I might have five or six people at one time. Then I might have 12 people at one time. So, number one in the community, I guess they probably was thinking, like, this lady always got people coming in and out of her home. Yes, that was true. Even though I was one that always mind my business, people watch. So, when you, I want you to keep that in mind. If you live in, in a quiet community or maybe a, a community that's not quiet and people constantly see people coming in and out your home all times of the night, all times of the evenings, all time of the days, it's none of their business, no. But it can be a red flag for some folks. That was one thing. Then what I realized also is when these people that had even had these demonic um, episodes that would come in and they would um, purge, they would purge and all this stuff in my home. When they left, they was fine. But I still had all this stuff to clean up. And I'm not just talking about physical stuff. I'm talking about spiritual stuff too. So it is very important that you be mindful of what residue is left in your home. Because a lot of times when we're doing this type of work and our clients come in and they leave in an hour, two hours, three hours, they can go home and rest. They can go home and enjoy themselves. But you might be up two or three, four hours cleaning up. And I'm talking about physically and spiritually. Because one thing that I will share to share with you is uh, lower level energies love children. They love children. And um, listen, this might sound crazy, but I'm going to tell you. Pets. Lower level energy likes pets. Your dogs, your cats. Because they're spiritual also. And they can a lot of times sense these or see them. Alright. So even though you're doing a good deed by servicing your clients in your home. It is a headache most of the time. It's a headache. I'm not too sure that it's even worth the money. Save your money up. Try to go to their home. Or try to go to a hotel. If you're doing readings. Try to um, go to restaurants. That's what, once I got, once I figured out, I can't do this no more. So if I had a client and I didn't have a place, which I didn't, then I would meet them at a local restaurant. Or we can go, you know, I would suggest we can come to your home. Even when I was doing spiritual baths. I used to do baths at hotels. Now, don't go by yourself. But I'm talking about clients that you had for years. For years. So, you have to be mindful of um, what we deal with. Now, I have a whole bunch of clients that do hair. A whole bunch of cosmetologists. And it's always a lot of drama. Not with them, but with People that come in and get their hair done, a lot of co confusion. And if you if you are entertaining that spirit in your home, you have to make sure that that energy is cleansed. Because baby, one thing for certain and two things for sure, their hair would be looking sharp. They'd be looking good. They'd be home taking pictures and, and selfies and everything else. And guess what? You're going to have all that spirit of confusion and stuff right in your home. So I love that uh, Miss White suggested this video because it's an important one. It's an important one. Sometimes, listen, I know, I tell y'all all the time, my life is an open book. I haven't always did things right. But guess what? As far as working, 
I have worked for years and I intend to work until I take my last breath. But it have been hard. It's a little easier now. But I understand that sometimes you have to do what you have to do until you can do better. I've been there. So if you are one that, are, that, that see clients, and I, I wouldn't care if you're an accountant and you seeing people doing their taxes. If you're cooking food and, and you serving dinners and you got people coming in picking up meals, whatever it is, just make sure that you be mindful of the energies that will be in your home and can stay in your home. So you constantly need to cleanse, not just your home, but yourself too. So I want to thank you for, um, for, for the suggestion of the video. I really appreciate it. And uh, look for a wonderful, wonderful gift from me to you with a whole bunch of kisses. Thank you. Now, if you see the candles on the table, I just want to briefly, and, and I don't know if you can see this, but my hands are all painted up and I've been cacathing and brewing and mixing and matching everything today. We're working hard to get this product line out June 1st. Mamas, listen, I have my staff here and we are working, I mean, for hours each day. To make sure that when it comes out, it's coming out right, y'all. Not just right, but powerful. See, what happens when you have a vision about something, th this is what happens to me. When I get visions, I want to make it exactly like that vision. That way, I know that I'm not following my own self-will, but I'm following God's will. Because I can't do it. I cannot do it. So all these candles here, besides a few, I've seen before I even concocted them or made them. All right. So I just, this is just a tip, not even a tip, not even a tip. This is just a few. I'm going to let you in on just a few of my candle line. Just a few. We have, I think so we're in the, 60 or 70 different candles that I'm going to offer coming June 1st. The first one I want to talk about y'all is this one. Now I wish that I could take credit for this, but my quote manager and my baby came up with this candle and he's been cheating a little bit. Let me tell you, because when people come in, even though they're not supposed to be on sale to June 1st, he sold, I know, a case of them already. Already. All right. This candle is a honey jar candle. Let me take the top off of it so you can see. This is a sweet and powerful candle that's used to attract a person of your desires. All right, and it come with a nice piece of parchment paper for you to write down your desires. Now, this candle is a powerful candle. I'm not gonna tell y'all how to do it because you, when you get the candle, it comes with directions, but you can use it to um, attract a person, but not just a person because we have somebody that attracted some money y'all using this honey jar candle how about that already and i want you to know that it smells so fabulous it's like you just went out in somebody's yard and you just went to the beehives and got the nice fresh sweet honey and uh it is amazing amazing now the directions come with it but what i want you to know is how i would put an extra charge to this candle i would burn it 
on top of a honey jar yes that's what I would do or I would simply write my petition after the candle always burns out I would actually put the petition in my bottle or my jar of honey so this that's one that I wanted to tell you about now this is just and I'm gonna put this aside this is my lemon candle y'all know I love lemon you know I often think about like the house cleaners that we use that uh, and the dish soaps that have uh, lemon scent and lemon juice in it why because lemon is a cleanser and a purifier so that's what my lemon candle will do it clears bad energies it cleans the auras it cleans the lower level vibrations can y'all see this it is gorgeous it smells like i just went to florida somewhere and went to a lemon grove and just start picking lemons and squeezing lemon juice in it it is wonderful the next one i want to show you this is another candle i've never heard of this candle before now we have milk of the beloved woman all right i do have men that buy that candle but how special would it be for them to have their own candle this candle is the seed of the beloved man we all know what that is all right this candle is a masculine candle it is for self-love if a man is looking for love this would be the candle that you want to try so i'm excited about this next look at this y'all this is my strawberry candle strawberry great for business great for attraction great for any man matters of money success friendship i'm not even going to tell y'all that we use the best most um mm, the highest quality oils that i could find yes they was costly but honey this is these candles are worth it this is my banana candle banana banana helps us overcome obstacles so if you're working you have a problem with your job you have a problem in your home if you have a problem in your relationship this would be the candle now most of the candles either come with prayers or directions all right all you have to do is light them up my favorite camphor or alcamphor this is great for cleansing you can cleanse your business you can cleanse your home um you can if you can cleanse you can this would be wonderful to use if you're doing a spiritual bath uh, I just did a house cleansing yesterday and I, I didn't think about it, but I should have brought along one of these candles to burn after I completed the, um, the cleansing. This orange, I often talk about orange. If you, you have a business and that business is slow and you need clients and you need some fast money, a orange candle this orange candle is the one for you all right two more and i'm gonna let y'all go my apple 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 candles are for self love work love drawing um abundance uh we think about um attracting the other sex this is a wonderful candle and you can i can smell it across the room I can actually smell this across the room and here is another one of my creations this is a ancestral candle this candle comes with a free um, ancestral 
It come with free ancestral money. The directions is on it. What you need to do. You're talking about our ancestors. You're talking about our deities. You're talking about um, paying honor to them. This is a wonderful way to do that. So um, I'm excited about all of my candles. The, every last one of them. Every last one of them that I'm going to be making, I can tell you I would buy myself. If I wouldn't buy it, I'm not going to sell it. Now, not only will I have candles, but I have the incense. I have the oils. I have baths. Um, I'm going to incorporate gemstones. Um, it, it will grow. It's going to grow. Maybe every month, maybe every three months. But I will constantly be adding more things to my um items more items to my line all right so i hope that you enjoyed this video two more videos are going to be taped that was suggested and i'm excited i don't really know what they are but i, I i'm going to leave that suspense out there all right so miss white once again Thank you, thank you, thank you for um, suggesting. Don't forget to get in contact with me. Y'all, give me some thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. Share my videos and write me some nice, sweet comments. Because y'all know what mama always say. If they're, nice, if they're not nice and sweet, I'm going to hit that little trash can down the bottom. All right? So, I thank you so much for giving me this time of your day and i look forward to spiritually seeing you in my next video mama gotta get back to work all right and loving every moment of it kisses yep.